You had one shot, one chance, one opportunity to seize everything you ever wanted in one moment. Would you capture it? Would you just let it slip? Rise and grind, a lifestyle of pursuit. If you haven't heard, I'm Arsenio J. Cole. I play tennis. I'm inspiring to be the best player to ever live on this planet. I live it. I bleed it. I laugh it. I talk it. I eat it. Anything you think about, that's what I do about tennis. It's my thing. It's my verb, as they say. So I started at the age of seven. Believe it or not. In North Philadelphia, I saw my grandfather play on a Sunday morning. I knew that day that every Sunday I would watch him play tennis and I would try to learn and become better than him. My style, my style. What we're talking about on the court, it just comes natural. I don't force anything. Everything is what it is. Why tennis? <laughs> Why not? I done did everything else. I dunk on you. I score a touchdown. I block a field goal. Whatever you need me to do, I can do anything. But this is what I love. This is what I will do. My name is Arsenio J. Cobra. Google me. You in here, you rockin' with your boy, Leon Huff Jr., Pop Tracks, Bank Studios. I come from a, a long background of, of, of music, man. My dad's one of the greats, Leon Huff, from the infamous duo Gamble and Huff, man, you know. So the apple don't fall too far from the tree. Actually, it just it landed right there. I don't really have no formula of making beats. I just sit down at the keyboard and, and just vibe out, but... I like to make sure the drums is real fat and I just, you know, the drums gotta be hitting. If the drums ain't hitting, man, then, you know, that's, that's where everything starts at. That's where the soul is at. So, you know, I really ain't got no formula. As long as the drums is fat, I let the rest, you know, just take place and make that magic. But that's how we do, man. I'm Don Miller, and this is Rock Paper Den. Well, uh, your rock is your, is your, your principle that's your foundation, you know, your morals, you know, what you live by, that's what keeps you grounded, your love, your faith, you know, uh, paper, the result of being true to you, your rock, and the denim is the product that we push into, rock, paper, denim. Well, a lot of the the t-shirt designs, they're really just expressions of me reflecting on different points in my life, and, you know, all the t-shirts are, are personal um, in terms of what I'm saying on them and what I'm speaking through the t-shirt, you know what I'm saying, almost to inspire myself, but through that to inspire others that might be pursuing whatever vision it is that they have. So, you know, that's part of the purpose behind the brand to encourage and to inspire through image. I mean, I, I definitely think it's, it's a global brand because I think it's people like me all over the world that might be, you know, fighting for their freedom in terms of trying to do whatever it is that they're trying to pursue. So. You know, the brand is really about, you know, executing your vision, falling, getting back up and going at it again. You know, that's that's what Rock Paper Dental is. You know, that's what my story is. I'm Justin Douglas. I'm a writer. I say my mother is probably my greatest inspiration. She's written songs tour. She wrote and produced the play. Uh, I was in it. And my sister was in it. She sang in it, matter of fact. My sister's Jasmine Sullivan. But I guess I take my ideas, you know, just from everyday life, you know, just, just the walk of everyday life. You know, being around friends, being around family. You know, one of my shows, you know, it's just, it's really about the camaraderie of friendship. Another one of my shows is about people helping people. I mean, and that's really my outlook and my perspective on life. It's just really about your purpose. You know, have money and wealth and fame and celebrity. That's cool. That's great. But, you know, what are you doing with those things to help somebody else out? You know, how much is enough for you? You know, how much can you have for your own self before you can help someone else out? And that's really, you know, what I try to do. When I write, when I write, you know, my shows or my materials, I really try to find that that, that purpose. <laughs> A 
lifestyle of pursuits.